Hey guys, so yesterday I went looking for my apron so that I could film the Arroz con Leche video and I could not find my cupcake apron anywhere and I looked everywhere and it just couldn't, I just could not, I just, no. So for the sake of just like having an apron for the video, especially because my cupcake apron was really cute, <laughs> but um, I wanted to have some sort of apron. And I figured why not make my own apron for the sake of saving money and for the sake of just like, uh, I got the idea of filming it. So here is a tutorial of me making the apron out of just like a, I don't know what kind of t-shirt you would call it, but it's just like a smaller t-shirt is what I had. I love leopards, so I'm about that life. But yeah, um... Yeah, here's the tutorial. Sorry, <laughs> my sister came through the window because I'm using the natural light of the window and she's making really crazy faces. But yeah. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I hope you try it yourself. So if you can just like and subscribe to my videos and stuff like that. When I start talking like slow and don't make eye contact, it's just because I got like distracted by maybe a bird in the window because that's just how I am. I just get distracted by like the easiest things. Just <laughs> don't mind me. Bye. So I'm starting out with a shirt that I received from a relative that was fairly cut up and torn at the bottom. And I really like the leopard print so I decided to use it. It has a zipper in the back as you can see but uh, I wanted one continuous like piece of fabric so I decided to take the whole zipper apart completely in half. And then here I realized instead of cutting around the whole zipper I could just tear it and save some time then I was just basically looking at the whole entire shape of the shirt figuring out you know what shape apron I want and what piece I'm going to use as well as what pieces I don't want to use of course if you have a full sheet of fabric you don't have to spend time shaping and stuff. Then I realized I only wanted the center body of the shirt, so I wanted to get rid of the two other arms. And this shirt has like a weird lining to it, so I wasn't sure if I wanted to keep it or cut it off, so I just left it for now. And I was just trying to figure out what shape I wanted it before I cut anything and realized I made a big mistake. After I just folded it in half so that each side was symmetrical or symmetrical as possible. And my cat decided to try to keep the fabric for himself. And then I realized that that underlining to that shirt was just confusing and unnecessary, so I just cut it all off and I try to tear it but yeah didn't work out <laughs> after I laid out the piece of fabric just to kind of uh, try to imagine what I wanted how I wanted it to look like where I was gonna pin it and I went ahead and got some pins and started pinning wherever I thought 
that I would sew. At first I was kind of going for a sort of overall shape, like the top of overalls, that type of apron, but then after, as you'll see later, but I ended up changing the color. You want to pin at least half an inch so that you have room to sew and it makes it easier when it goes to the sewing machine process. Also, if you're using a fabric that frays really easy at the edges, I wouldn't skip the sewing part. Or even if you just glued the edges down, but just so that it looks a little bit neater. And you want to cut a slit when you're doing like a sort of rounded folder. I cut a slit because I wanted it a little more edge to square it off edge instead of a round one. So I just cut that slit on the side they could fold onto each other if that makes any sense. And it's good to flip over the piece every once in a while just to see how it's looking from the side that you're actually going to see when you're wearing it. So I attached the waistband piece by pinning them there and as you can see I let go of the collar so that instead of being squared off it was rounded. And then I'm just going to sew along all the edges that I pinned down. If you want to make it easier for yourself then go ahead and iron the edges down so they stay flat down and I just went over the waistband things. so that they're nice and secure. So here I was just adding the lace on the neck piece and I folded it in half and found the middle of the lace, also the middle of the collar, so that it would be as aligned as possible. I'm using the glue gun because by now it is about 1 in the morning and I just got way too lazy to keep doing the sewing machine thing, so yep, the lazy way. Hey guys, so this is how my apron turned out. So it has uh, a little bit of, I guess you could call it detail, I'm not really sure, but there's, oh, I didn't glue it all the way, whoops, but I'm gonna glue that after. Uh, anyways, this is just how it looks on the top, and it is a little short, mainly because I was working well with the, mater with the materials that I had. 
but I'm not a very tall person so it doesn't look that bad this is actually like a regular shirt so yeah I hope you guys like it and I hope you try it out and if you try it out uh, I would like to see pictures so if you can just you know uh, tag my what is it I don't know tag my Instagram no tag my Instagram or my tumblr there we go you can tag my tumblr I don't know how technology is with tagging and everything I don't really do that so if you can somehow or just send me whatever of how yours turned out with like different fabrics and just different lace and just stuff like that uh, like my video please because I just want to keep on going and keep doing a lot of more videos just like this so if you could like and subscribe that would be awesome. Bye.